Well, this, at this stage, I would say that the, the um, recognition that we are a mainstream party, that we are not going to be governing on social issues, that we are interested in fiscal policy and making sure that we have fiscal prudence and a better form of government, which means a better operational government, and to provide real options to Albertans for them to understand that. So we are, you know, that I would say that's our biggest weakness. People label us as a certain type of party because of some people in the past and what they've done. And that's why I came out clear at the beginning that we are not going to govern on social issues. We will not legislate on those issues. That is not what our party is about. We're about fiscal prudence and providing what Albertans want, which is a better form of government. We've had 44 years of the same government, and I don't think anybody uh, disagrees that new brooms sweep clean. And we need a new broom in, uh, in Alberta. And we need that new broom to go through each department to make sure that we have new people, new blood for new ideas, because I think we need new ideas. Um, House of Cards is pretty good. I like that show. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't watch a lot of television, to be honest. I, I like to read. Yeah. I like to listen to music. I like to be outdoors. I spend a lot of time canoeing and doing things outside, snow, snowboarding. I'm a snowboarder. I like the ocean. I love water. So you're a snowboard? Oh, yeah, I snowboard. I've been snowboarding since, I think I strapped on my first snowboard in, wow, 1991. I was one of those first guys that they wouldn't allow on many slopes. Um, I have three snowboards now. I love it. Um, yeah. I love snowboarding. Actually, I have a group of good friends that go snor snowboarding every New Year's and we, we go to the best slope, uh, which is usually Revelstoke, the best snow in, in the country. And, and uh, yeah, I lo love snowboarding. I love all sports, actually. I'm a, I'm a sports junkie. I love to, you know, I love anything outdoors, sports, canoeing, kayaking. I do whitewater kayaking. I do, uh, I even do kiteboarding occasionally. I've done some kiteboarding down in Nordic. And yeah, I, lo I love that kind of stuff. So I love the outdoors. Happy? No, we're just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, I, I can't tell you. I, I feel that I've been directed into politics over the last, uh, you know, 10 years. I feel that uh, that's been my direction just because the doors keep seeming to open up and I really feel passion for the people. I feel uh, that I have something to give to people uh, through hard work. I was the youngest of 11 children. So my, my parents, one was a farmer and one's a, one was a rancher and small business owners for years. So, you know, I would say that um, I would probably be a writer. I would love to write. I've always wanted to write novels, mm -hmm. to write suspense and things like that. So if I was going to do anything, that would be it, novels. My parents had a newspaper business and we had it for four years and so I always admired my mom. She published her first book at the age of 80, which uh, was just a couple of years ago. It's called More Than Oil. It's a book about Northern Alberta and it's about the history of Northern Alberta and I love history and I love books and I'd like to actually, you know, put some of my uh, litigation experiences, my law experiences into a book because they were pretty crazy ideas and things that happened. You don't really realize how people are until you uh, see that everybody has a closet and every family has something that some people are not proud of and the, and the truth is that I mean we should be proud of whoever we are because we are great people and we are all individual and uh, we have a lot to give but novels would be my number one thing I love I, I would love to write <laughs>